We're going to prove the Pythagorean theorem in a non-traditional way. The statement of, of the theorem is as follows. The sum of the squares on the legs of any right triangle is equal to the square on the hypotenuse of the triangle. Let's go ahead and use the two squares, two arbitrary squares A, B, C, D and C, E, F, G to prove the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to connect point B to D and point G to E. Note these are the diagonals of our two squares. Now we're going to connect point D to E and point B to G. Observe triangle BCG is a right triangle and triangle DCE is also a right triangle. Moreover, triangle BCG and triangle DCE are congruent. The two legs are equal to the sides of the two squares and of course angle BCG right here is 90 degrees and angle DCE right here is also 90 degrees. So we can prove by side angle side the triangle BCG and triangle DCE are congruent to each other. Let's say BC is B and CE is A and BG is equal to DE is equal to C. So the hypotenuses BG and DE are each equal to C and the length of the larger square is small b and length of the smaller square is small a we need to show the following a square plus b square is equal to c square that's our goal let's extend bg to meet de at point h we can show the triangle bcg and triangle dag are similar by showing that these two angles are congruent because they're vertical angles and these two angles are congruent because triangle BCG is congruent to triangle DCE. If triangle BCG and triangle DAG are similar, angle DAG must be right angle because this is 90 degrees. That's our conclusion. Triangle DAG is similar to triangle BCG. Let's shade triangle BGD gray and triangle BGE pink. The area of triangle BGD must be C times DH divided by 2 because area of, of any triangle is given by the product of the height and the base times half. Note BG, we are considering BG as the base of triangle BGD, which is C units long. That was our assumption. And this is the base, and this is the height of triangle BGD. Now let's consider triangle BGE, the pink triangle. The area of this pink triangle, BGE, has to be half times height times base. The base of uh, the tri pink triangle BGE is still BG, which is C units long, and the height of triangle BGE is HE. Using the standard formula for the area of a triangle, which is half times height times base, we get the area of triangle BGE is C times H E divided by 2. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to combine the two areas. We are now trying to find the area of quadrilateral B D G E. We're combining the gray triangle, area of the gray triangle 
and the area of the pink triangle to find the area of quadrilateral DBEG, this one. That's fairly easy to do because we know how to, we have a formula for the area of the gray triangle and we have a formula for the area of the pink triangle. So we add the two expressions from above and we get C times DH divided by 2 from here, C times HE divided by 2 from here, and we can factor out C over 2. We are left with DH plus HE. Observe, DH plus HE is nothing but C because DE and BG are both C units long. So instead of DH plus HE, we write C. C times C is C squared over 2 is the area of the quadrilateral D, B, E, G. What we have here is a fact from the previous slide. We have established that the area of quadrilateral D, B, E, G is C squared over 2. That comes from the previous slide. Now, we can also say the area of the same quadrilateral D, B, E, G is this area. that I'm shading in blue, plus this area. Observe, the area of the green shading has to be half the area of the smaller square, CEFG, which turns out to be A square over 2. The blue shading is simply half the area of the larger square, a, B, C, D, which turns out to be B squared over 2. So now we have expressed the area of quadrilateral D, B, E, G in two different ways. The first one is C squared over 2. The second expression is A squared over 2 plus B squared over 2. Now these two expressions must be the same because they represent the exact same area. Now we can say a square over 2 plus b square over 2 is equal to c square over 2. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we get the result that we are trying to establish. We get a square plus b square is equal to c square, and that proves our Pythagorean theorem.